Hi everyone, Linda here. I'm an independent Sensi consultant. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I thought I was done for the year uh, with my last video. That was my haul video and I said happy holidays to everybody and probably won't do anything until my, uh, till my uh, bring back my bar bundle comes and I can do my first sniffs. But then when I went and looked at my empties, I realized I'm not going to be able to make it till January with this bucket full. So I thought initially of just dumping them into the recycling and you know, forgetting about doing a video. And then I thought, ah, I'll do a video. It might be something amusing for you to watch between Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> and uh, you know, whatever, right? <laughs> anyway, let's get to it. I wanna keep it short and sweet. I did do two non-sensey items, uh, two wallflower plug oils, switch out, oops. Here they are. Uh, one is Perfect Christmas, and that one is like fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, toasted marshmallow. It's going at my back landing right now. It's nice, very nice, but it's not that fragrant. And I'm finding that with that back landing. It has uh, got such high ceilings that, um, you know, it seems to be a bit challenging. I was playing around with pods and they weren't doing it. And then I've tried this, we'll see. I might actually switch it out just a couple days before Christmas and put Christmas Cottage out there and just leave that for the Christmas, you know, two weeks. Anyway, we'll see. And then I did put uh, fresh balsam in, that's just balsam, cedar wood, fir, it's got a bit of eucalyptus. And this is in my, I put it in my guest, uh, washroom downstairs. I have this also in my main floor washroom as well. So it's in both and I really like it. It's a doozer and it, it smells nice in the bathroom for me. It's not u uberly strong, but it's got a Christmas tree fragrance. Anyway, everything else is scentsy. Um, excuse me. Uh, my husband came back from running errands and he bought me a, an Americano. So I feel like I need to <laughs> to do it justice. Uh, I know there's lots of people on YouTube that don't like it when you drink a beverage while you do your videos, but you know, I didn't want to waste it. So anyway, I'm going to uh, share what I have that's non sensi or non wax rather. Uh, the first thing I did finish was the uh, washer whiffs in fluffy fleece. Now I get the whole set, including the scents off and use it on my towels and bedding, etc. And, um, Usually I go through a whole one and a half tubs before I run out of the rest of the set. So I have done this and now I'm starting on a second one. So what I do is I order usually the complete set and get the scent soft as half, at half price, get the bundle at half price, and then um, I'll often order uh, whiff uh, as my half price item in my, on my club when I'm short, getting short, and then I have an extra. I always sort of keep an extra because I'm a little more heavy handed with those. And I'm using them for something else. Let me share that. Um, well, first of all, I'll share this. I think I got it in a whiff box, uh, farm stand pumpkin, which I love in wax, but it's not a, a boomer. So in a scent pack. Now, I know these scent packs are really intended for the buddies. Um, uh, and that would be fine if you wanted, if you like the scent in a buddy and you were, you know, snuggling a buddy, but I mean, I don't have any buddies and I buy them for my closets, mainly my front hall closet, my linen closet, where I keep my bedding and my towel closet and uh, my laundry chute closet. So uh, I, I'm always on the hunt for the, for good ones. This one, I put it in my utility closet in the kitchen because I thought that, you know, that might be, but it didn't last. And then it started smelling weird, the beads. So what I did was I ripped it open and dumped the beads out. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with that. What I've been doing, and I think it's Brandy that put me onto it, fluffy fleece uh, washer with crystals in this little gauze bag. And I got these from Amazon in a 10 pack. And you just open it up, scoop. Now I could probably add a bit more. This is my first, uh, try it at it and uh, I I have had this in my linen closet and it's really nice like just that sitting here I can smell fluffy fleece it's really nice so it works it does leave a little dusting if you move it around if you hang it in the closet it's fine but if you start moving it around so what I'm thinking I'm doing 
because somebody else had mentioned, um, I think it was Tammy, somebody who tried putting uh, whip, washer whip crystals in this said it leaked out. And then this one doesn't leak, but it, it does let it leave a little kind of like, almost like a little powder. I'm gonna take this and put it inside of this. And that's like a double uh, thing and see how that works. Anyway, I'll keep you posted on that because I think I'd like to do it that way. You know, pick strong scents from the washer whiffs and use them as well. Um, I did go through some uh, or started on some new scent packs. This is Clothesline, very strong, excellent. I use it in my laundry room, laundry chute closet where I store um, laundry baskets and I have a, a basket on the go where I can throw, you know, dishcloths and stuff in as I, you know, things that I don't want to put in my hamper. Uh, it works really well. It's a good, strong laundry room scent, very good. Um, can put that in my basket, I guess. Uh, then I did Arctic Kiss. This is in my front hall closet. This is a nice winter, strong, it's a stronger scent pack. It does well in my front hall closet. Now this little system works. I may, you know, experiment with that for the front hall as well, but that's a good scent pack. I'm really picky. I'm getting really picky about them because a lot of them are nice, but they just don't work for what I'm using them for. And then I think I got Amazon Rain in a whip box as well. And this one I did put in um, my winter summer coat closet downstairs because um, I ha you, I've tried a few things in there. I've tried the travel tin. I've tried uh, circle um, scent circles. They work okay, but they're so short lived. So I'm trying that, we'll see. It doesn't really need to be fragranced. It just needs to not smell stale being closed up and I put my winter coats, summer coats, boots, you know, summer shoes, etc. So that's that. Then I did have two scent circles uh, started. This one is Homestead Holiday. Got this in a flash sale, I think. It's in um, by the utility closet in the kitchen and it's nice. And I have Luna, which I put in my corner desk. I've talked about that desk and that's what's in there. Um, I have used up a couple of bricks. Well, I used up this brick sugar cookie and I have replaced it. You, if you watch my haul, you'll see that. Love this, it's sugar cookie. I use it all the time. Um, I go through it quite quickly. This one I bought in February of 2022. It's a bit yellow in the back and it's just sugar cookie and vanilla and it's my favorite. If I had to pick between it and vanilla bean buttercream, I would pick sugar cookie. Although I love vanilla bean buttercream too, but it's an excellent brick. I also did, I forgot, fragrance flower. This is Blue Grotto. And I had it in my washroom downstairs and it lasted for months. It was great. And it, this is the flower. It's dry, dry, dry now, but look, it didn't even get all janky. Some of them the co turn color and look weird. Um, anyway, it, it worked really well down there, fragranced the, it for the whole summer. Then it was still, it was empty, but it still had some juice in the flower. So I put it up on the window ledge down there and then got a new one out. Um, and then I took it from the window ledge and put it in my closet in my office and it smelt in there. And finally it's dry, it's done but highly recommend Blue Grotto. It's an excellent fragrance flower. Um, yeah, I think this must be the Buttercup Bell because of the big leaves and they fall off a bit. So I usually use the other one, Dahlia Darling. So anyway, that's a great fragrance flower. Uh, my other brick, I haven't used it up, but I've been working on it, is Winter's Eve. And um, this one, I like it okay. I mean, it's not a favorite but it, I'll, I'll use it up. I use this in the living room. Honestly, uh, all the bricks, I only really like caramel chestnut. Uh, the rest are okay, but, well, icicle and evergreen, you know what I think of that, but this one was okay. I'm gonna make try some mixes with it in the new year, try to use it up. There's not actually a lot in there because I've cut it all up and put it in individual. Anyway, if you have a good mix for Winter's Eve, let me know. I think I have written down a couple from people, but I'd like to mix this. So give me your tips if you have any. Um, then 
I did put, I have a brick of, uh, from last year of uh, sweet orange pomander. I have warmed it down in my family room and uh, there's only a couple of cubes left. So I did, my husband really liked it. So I put, took, took it to his man cave and he has it. I cut it up into serving sizes, gave him a bunch of cotton balls. And so he's managing that out there <laughs> and he'll finish it up for me. Uh, I did also get him to do Wild for Fall. This one is uh, Douglas Fir, Satsuma, and the Sunflower. I don't care for this one. It's too sharp. It's too. Sh There's a few of them this year that are a little just too sharp or sour or something. Anyway, he he liked it and he he used it up. So, in his man cave, and I have one more which I will also let him use in the new year once he uses up his sweet orange pomander. Uh, in my overnight warmer in my bedroom, I've been doing a bunch. Uh, I finished up um, Angel Six, Experiment 624, and I mentioned this in my last empties. It's, it smelled like a cigar, a sweet cigar, and it is goji, blackberry, vanilla cream, sugar cane. I did one cube at a time in my overnight warmer until I used it up. I think I have one more uh, bar of this, and I'll save that for... Uh, closer to uh, springtime when I can open my bedroom window at night and and use it then. That might help. I did, I am warming cotton candy cookie right now in there and this is just cotton candy cookie and um, raspberry I think. Anyway, it's nice. I really like this in there and I've actually warmed it in my, um, the whole bedroom and in my office on occasion but I typically warm it in that overnight warmer and I have it in my club for that purpose. I really like it, it's very soothing. It's one of my favorite overnight warmer uh, scents. I just did vanilla bourbon not long ago. I had to use two cubes on this and this, this bar, I like vanilla bourbon. I've had really good vanilla bourbon bars that worked like gangbusters and then I've had ones that are like and this particular bar, I've had to use two cubes in my overnight warmer, which I don't typically do. Um, and they last a day and a half or a night. And then in the second night, I, I leave it two nights, but it, it's light. So yeah, it's a hit and miss. It's not my club. I have probably about three bars in my stash from when it was in the Father's Day. I do like it a lot. It's just hit and miss on strength. One that always performs well in my overnight warmers is Caramel Vanilla Delight. And this is the one that's ice cream with a liquid caramel drizzle. It's really, really nice. And I'm using this everywhere. It's in my club. It's got white rum in it, supposedly. Anyway, it's really nice in the bedroom, but I also warm it in the kitchen, in, in my office, if I want something sweet. So it actually, you know, does really well. And I use one cube. So highly recommend that. And it's a good one because it, like I say, I can use it in other places. I've been using uh, gingerbread buttercream. This is just ginger nutmeg and the buttercream. I really, really like this scent. Uh, it's just not very strong. I have warmed this. I did do some of it in my, in my office. It was a good one day scent and then it dies. And in my overnight warmer, I use one cube and it's good for one night and then it's done and I have to take it out. So it's, I have another uh, set of these um, that I've tucked away and I'm working on these and yeah, I'm not clubbing any of them. Candy cane, buttercream, also same thing. One, it's nice, one, uh, one cube in my bedroom in my overnight warmer, it's really nice. One day, then it's done. I've tried it, my office is, just doesn't make it more than a couple hours, so I've given up doing it there. I'll just use this, I think I have four cubes here, and then like I say, another bar, and I'm not clipping it as I mentioned. Okay, my bedroom, I've tried a bunch of things. I've tried a warm, warm pumpkin drizzle. Now my bedroom, I'm talking my two 25 watt warmers that I have on all day, I switch those off at night, turn my overnight warmer on. So different scents typically. Uh, warm pumpkin drizzle is really clove, pumpkin, maple syrup. Very light on the maple syrup, almost no. It smells like a spicy pumpkin and it's a little bit flat. It's not like really developed for me. It's pleasant though in the bedroom. It makes it smell, you know, cozy. Just doesn't have a distinct scent. And I have, I did warm half of this in the bedroom and half of it in my office. 
So um, yeah, it's a nice one. Graduation, this was, I have, I think it might be my last one. I had it in my club for a time, but it's so light. I did do half of this bar in my bedroom, half of it in my office. Apple suede leather vintage musk. I think it's still in clearance. It is very, very nice. A very nice scent, but very light. Even in my office, which is a small room, sitting in there, it's on. It's pleasant, but it's very, very light. So that's, that's the way of it. I really like the notes in this, though. I finished Vanilla Mint. I did this one in two warmings in my bedroom, in the two 25 watt warmers. This is a fan favorite. It's wintergreen, vanilla, and citrus. Um, I liked it. I didn't love it though. I think it's the citrus note. I know a lot of people like it. I hate to say that I didn't really care for it. I mean, I didn't dislike it. It's just not one of those ones where you walk into your bedroom and go, oh yeah. I mean, a lot of people like it. I mean, I'm using it in the dish soap and it's okay in the dish soap, but I don't know. It's just, anyway, this, I only had one. Now I've used it. Uh, and then I sat in sheets and I've talked about this in my last one. I used it up in my bedroom again, trying to get something out of it. And it's so, so like, uh, this used to be a really good, reliable performer. And now it's so light. I don't know what it is, but it's in my club. If I need space for my bring back my bars, I'm going to take it out and hope it comes back. I'll order it again. I'll try it because I've had bars, that, but the last three I mentioned before, the last three bars I've had have not performed. Then some more office swarms. I just did not long ago, uh, sandalwood tangerine, white cedar tangerine and sandalwood. This is very nice. Um, it's got kind of a you can smell the tangerine. It's got that, the sandalwood is very there and the cedar it has a little bit of a sort of a, not cologne, but a really nice men's body wash. Not too uber sort of sharp, very blended, very nice. Um, I have some bars that you, well, I didn't put it in my club, but I did collect, oh, I probably have three, three more after this. Um, and I really like it. Uh, but I'm going to save it for the spring because I think it, it, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm warming scents that don't in my brain, uh, go with like cool, cold weather, snow, Christmas, you know, sort of <laughs> December, you know, the shortest day of the year, you know, the you know, that sort of thing, this winter solstice. It, it doesn't jive in my brain. It, it feels like it doesn't go. So that's sort of what happened. I warmed it and I thought it smells really nice, but it, it's not a scent for now. So I'm gonna save the rest. And I did finish up this bar of Silhouette. This was from a clearance, a uh, flash sale. I really, really like it. Heliotrope, orange blossom, lavender, and patchouli. I love anything patchouli. This is a really nice, mellow, I did this in my office. I did the last two in my office too. I'm not sure if I said that. Uh, very, very nice. Um, I have one more bar. I really like it. I would, again, this is another one that I'm gonna save for, for like March. You know, do it in those months when you're, when it's hard, cause it's not quite hot, it's not cold, you know. That's when I'll do that. I did do Spiced Ember Glow. Now this fit the bill for feeling cozy and wintry, and I love this one. This is so nice. Warmed it in my office, and um, while I was doing that, I was doing uh, Scary Good and Gimme Candy in the other part of the house, and it was so, so nice. And I had a smoked apple, toasted vanilla, and cinnamon ember, but the ember isn't like a smoky ember. It's just a, a rich ember. It's very nice. I, I really like it. I have another one for the holiday season. I'll probably use it. Um, after the new year, early in the new year. Very nice. I've warmed that in my living room too. It does really well. And right now going in there is World Traveler. And this was to bring back my bar. It's some um, pomegranate, um, blackberry pomegranate oak bark. It's a really nice, uh, it's masculine, but it's not cologne masculine. It's sort of like a book, you know, a den bookish, you know, a man who's worn cologne, had the jacket on, wore cologne like a week and a half ago, 
so he's got a faint whiff of, of deliciousness on him, but it's not really in your face. That's what this is. I really like it. Again, this is another one that I'm thinking, no, 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 it doesn't belong here. <laughs> I have it in my office and it, and it doesn't, it doesn't belong. <laughs> it's in my club. If I absolutely had to make room, I think I have about four or five of these. I would take it out because I don't warm it a lot. Although I do warm it in my living room uh, in the warmer months, in the spring, in the springtime. Anyway, very nice. I really, really like that. Now my living room, as I mentioned, I did Scary Good and Give Me Candy in the Kitchen and Scary Good. Uh, somebody had recommended that combo. Uh, I think actually what I did was alternating warmers all through the kitchen living room on, for most of these. This is pumpkin puree, cinnamon, butterscotch, really like Scary Good. And then this is a, a uber sweet, lovely <laughs> caramel, sugar, golden honey, butterscotch. Mm really nice and they complement each other very well uh, then I did mocha doodle and uh, butter pecan again alternating warmers all through the main floor and this one is like coffee beans cocoa sugar caramel and heavy cream and this is uh, candied pecan maple and butter and it's so so cozy I wanted cozy and I didn't want to break into my like Christmas scents. So this one, this one really fit the bill. Very nice. Um, I did just do Hocus Pocus in the living room and uh, red, white, and berry pie in the kitchen. I forgot, I haven't warmed red, white, and berry pie. This was the scent of the month this year. It's probably uh, my second favorite of the year. I, I like cinnamon pine cones. It's a very cherry though, I forgot. And it did smell a little more pie. When I warmed it earlier, it didn't have that pie note, but it did smell a little bit baked goods. It's got a baked vanilla, along with the cherry and the raspberry. And, uh, and this has cherry, blackberry, black plum, cherry, and spiced vanilla. So they were a really good combination. I have warmed this in my office. I didn't. It was. I didn't want like it in there, but I do like it in the living room, and this was nice. Although I will say, my husband came in, uh, and he was fussing about one, and he kind of curled up his nose, and he says, "I smell bo." <laughs> I went, "What?" And he goes, "Yeah. What, what is that you're warming? It smelled like bo." Now I can't tell. I can't quite decide whether it's <laughs> this or this that he smelled. It was day two. So they'd all, both had kind of, you know, petered out a bit. I think it might have been this. <laughs> anyway, uh, I had it in my club, so I think I have three more bars. I'm taking it out of my club. Uh, I think this one's going to come back. That warmer was so popular. I think that it's a licensed bar. I, my theory is licensed bar eventually make their way back. I'm going to take this out. I really like it, though. And this one, uh, do I have it in my club? I think... I think I do. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm hoping this makes it into the catalog. This is a great one. I can imagine mixing it with a ton of stuff. Uh, then I did uh, falling apples and cookies for Santa. I did falling apples in the living room and cookies for Santa in the kitchen because this is a strongie. <laughs> you know me, I've got a ton of this stuff. One of the things I will say about these older bars that you stockpile is this one leaves my dishes super goopy. Like, you know, filming, which is fine. When I clean them, I can, I spray, um, I either use uh, rubbing alcohol with a with cotton ball or I spray it with counter clean and that cleans it out. But it does leave a mat. It's, you know, anyway, this is like sugar cookie, sips of milk, um, brown sugar. It's really strong, it's good. And then the falling apples, I've tried that before and I was not super impressed, but I quite liked it. It was crisp apple, acorn and oak and it was, it did well. It did really well for one day. Day two, it, it lagged a bit, but I didn't mind it. You know, it smells a little bit like um, apples on the ground in the fall. You know, mushy apples on the ground in the fall and then the tree in the background, like that smell com combined. It was nice though, didn't mind it. Um, I did uh, eucalyptus, just for you. Oh, what am I saying, eucalyptus? Just for you and uh, maple vanilla glaze in living room, kitchen. Um, this is just for you. 
where did I get that? I have about three bars of it. I must have hauled it from um, from a flash sale. Blackberry, fir balsam, pine needles. I really like this. This is a very nice, um, that blackberry comes through. You get a bit of the tree, a bit of the blackberry. It smells like an evergreen, but it has that berry. It's very well blended. I really, really like that. So I'm gonna enjoy. I have two more. I'm sort of saving those for the holiday season. And then I warmed um, maple vanilla glaze. This was in the uh, holiday bundle. Buttered caramel, dark maple, caramelized sugar. Yeah, it's very strong. It lasted a good two days. Some people are saying it peters out quick, but I don't find that. I'm finding it, I can smell it for two days and then I changed my wax, so that was okay. And the two together were really very festive. Highly recommend. Too bad that they don't have just for you still. Um, this is why I said eucalyptus, it's going right now. Eucalyptus wreath, uh, and it's very pungent. Um, very eucalyptus, juniper and frosted mint. Quite nice. Um, it's been in there a day and a bit, and it's starting to peter out quite a bit, or else I'm nose blind to it. And then in the kitchen, I did French toast, which this is a pretty good performer. It's just like bread in egg batter with powdered sugar and the maple syrup. So I think smelling them now, they could both come out, but that, that was a nice, I only had one bar of this. I'm not sure how I got it. I must have ordered it for my sip and sniff, and now it's nice. I, I, I have lots of other evergreen sort of scents that I like better. Now I'm gonna do a fave and a fail. And my fail isn't really a fail. It is, but it isn't. It's a fail in the sense, well, let me explain. I have three bundles for my fail. And they're not fails, necessarily. They're just all old bars. And one of the things I've noticed, I know some people have a lot of old wax and they use it and then they never have any issues. Some old wax improves when it, as it ages. But my experience with these is the opposite. They were boomers when um, they were new for me. And now they're, they did okay. Some did better than others, but, uh, and then when you finish with them and you take them out of the dish, the dish is janky, like, you know, sticky. Even if it's not like, uh, which one was it? One of these I emptied out and I was wiping the, the with a towel, paper towel, and it was like almost black. Like it didn't look black in the dish, but when you, the schmutz, anyway, Let's just do them. The one that did the best, but still, was um, Apple S'mores. Now this one is from March of 2021. I had this in my club, and I lost my club. And so this is a lot, this bar. I think I might have one more. Anyway, it's apple, cinnamon glaze, coconut milk, toasted marshmallow, vanilla cream, and cedar wood. And it's a lovely apple, and it was a gangbuster when it was new. When I first got it and was warming it, it warmed like two, three, almost three days. I could smell it, it was rich. And the first day it was gang gangbusters. It did okay. It was good for a day and a half. And then I had to muck around to get it out of the clam. I did this with uh, St. Nickerdoodle, which I love this one. This is great. This is baked apple spices and powdered sugar. It does really well. It lasted two days. Now, when I first tried this, it didn't, I, I couldn't smell it, but it did last really well for me. You can really smell that powdered sugar though, which is why it won't ever take the place of apple butter frosting for me, but it is very nice and I did club this. It's in the club I skipped, so I won't get another one until March, but I do have a couple. Anyway, this was okay, but I was disappointed in compared to it when I, when I first hauled it. The next one that was a disappointment was Sweet Plum Pastry. This is the second one I've warmed. It's quite yellow in the back. This is uh, plum, toasted coconut, and marshmallow. It's very plummy. And back when I first, this was in my club too. Um, and I, I actually just warmed a bar not long ago. I had two left and now they're gone. This is it. I'll actually cover the name because I, I actually got this from a, uh, from uh, my upline, she had a bar sitting around. This, um, and again, no, no, 
scent categories on the back, so it's an oldie. This one used to just boom, but this time it was, it puttered. <laughs> it just went poof, 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 poof. <laughs> plum, plum, plum. <laughs> it just did not perform. And again, a mucky. This was the muckiest of the dishes. And I warmed uh, this uh, blackberry uh, meringue, which was a flash sale bar. It again is an older bar, no categories. Um, this is blackberry, sugared fig, black plum, ground spice. I had three of these. This is the last one. Uh, the first one was a dud. The middle one, was I could smell it a bit better. This one, again, wasn't that good. Yeah. Anyway, I know that, I know Elizabeth, no, it was, it's Patricia Gates. She mentioned that she, she's warming this and it, it's done really well for her. But for me, it just didn't. I don't know the bars I got. So anyway, again, disappointment in this. And then the third one out of the group was Wasail Wonderland. Now this one, somebody was doing a video and they talked about how when you took the bars out, you could, they didn't snap, they just bent kind of like they were elastic a little bit. And that's what happened to this one. I'm, I'm bending the cubes, trying to break the cubes off and they're kind of, you know, creaking around the corner before they'd snap, they wouldn't snap. I had to actually cut them because they were sort of, I don't know, something happened to the consistency of the wax. And then when they warmed, when you try to take them out, that consistency mucked up the dish. Uh, I like this a lot last year. Orange zest, lemon peel, cinnamon stick, fur needle. And this one is from November of 2021. Um, yeah, but it, and then it smelt funny on day two. It smelt waxy. Like then that wax, whatever made the wax weird, made the smell weird. So, and then I warmed that with, um, vanilla cinnamon maple and I finished up my brick this one was from last sense of this or our last holiday bricks last year and I finally finished it up and it's in the catalog now I really like this it's light it's uh, cinnamon stick butter let me just read it here. butter maple and um, sweet whipped cream and it's nice it's a nice mixer it's not very strong on its own I can't hold it its own too well with um, like kitchens, but it'd be nice in the office if you wanted a nice vanilla cinnamon scent in the fall, winter time. Anyway, they were a good combo, but this one, yeah. And then, like I say, it smelled like kind of weird wax on halfway, like a couple hours into day two. So those are my fail. Just, uh, just the fact that I've hung on to them and I'm warming them now. So not all wax does well if you sit on it, some of it does. And I mean, I'm no expert. Someone like Patricia Gates, she's got lots of wax. She's warming wax from 20 to 17, 18, 19, and she's getting decent performance. I store my wax in a very cool spot. I live in the part of the continent that is very low humidity, so we don't get a lot of humidity. I don't have, I had no sweating on any of these. They just sort of, they dried out like a mummy. <laughs> I think that's what it is. They dried out like a mummy. Anyway, yeah, that's my fail. I just, you know, I think that if you were, if you got this bar from me in a swap and tried it, you would be disappointed. And it's actually a very good scent when you, you know, warm it properly when it's new. The same with apple s'mores. In fact, I'm waiting for this to be molded back and bring back my bars. I'll put it in my club in a heartbeat, but it, you know, but usually it's a powerhouse and it just didn't do it. Now, the same thing is going to go for this one, only it's my fave. And I don't know why it works. This one, snuggle up, my last bar. I'm warming it right now in my bedroom. It's on day three. It was from January 2021. This was in the uh, Catching Z's collection. It was my favorite. Um, it's got... Well, I didn't write the notes in it. I was in such a hurry. Anyway, look at the color. I mean, it's the wax is used to be blue. It's kind of like a, a moldy green, but it still smells like gangbusters. Even the inside of the lid is yellow. And there, it's old, it has no, but this one in my bedroom smells exactly like Snuggle Up is supposed to smell. And it's on day three. And 
in my two warmer, 25 watt warmers. It's working like a gangbuster. So, and I have, uh, I put two cubes in each of the two 25 watt warmers and it's been going like steady from 8 a.m. till 10.30 at night every day for three days. So there you go, it's an oldie. It's doing really well. It's my fave. If this one, if we ever get a chance to get this one back, I'll definitely club this. It's a really great bedroom scent. It's a good laundry room scent. I don't know if I would warm it anywhere else because it's definitely got jammy time vibes. You know, I wish I'd written the notes down. I can't remember. Anyway, maybe I'll put them down here. Anyway, that's my fave. Same, same age just a different result so you never know right anyway that's it for my empties um it is the uh what's the date today i went today and did my got a new passport photo because my 10-year passport expi is expiring in 2023 and i want to travel in 2023 so um i can't remember the date but i know we're going to be ordering the bring back my bars on the 19th uh, so it's it's Thursday today before the 19th. Count back. I can't. I'm tired. I need another sip of coffee. Anyway, um, this definitely will be my last before Christmas uh, video taping. Uh, I probably won't put this up until almost Christmas or maybe the week between Christmas and New Year's just to give you something to watch. <laughs> Um, and then you won't see anything from me until I do cold sniffs of the Bring Back My Bars. But um, as I mentioned in my previous video, I hope everyone has a great relaxing holiday um, during this time. Um, I hope it works out. I hope people stay well. Um, it's still raging out there, folks. Um, so everyone be careful. I, my husband and I are old, really old school about all of that, masking up and everything. Anyway, uh, we do plan on having company, a nice family gathering, and a big surprise for my mom. Uh, I'll talk about that after it happens, because <laughs> she watches my videos. Anyway, thanks so much, and uh, have a great holiday. Have a great Christmas. Enjoy yourselves. I do hope it's a positive uplifting thing for you this year and um thank you for tuning in and watching my channel i appreciate it we'll talk to you later bye